Hello everybody. Well, today we're going to try to explain how to do the glitch uh, to get um, as many free tents, tripods or portable X structures as you want. Uh, you need to have at least two of each on your inventory when you go to do this glitch. If you have only one equipped, it won't work. So make sure that you have at least to equip. As you can see I got two of each color but at the end of the video I will have 400 of the white color. So I'm going to equip those, add them to my inventory. I didn't need to add the other ones but well um, I just did it. And now I'm going to show you where we have to head. It's very important. You have to join a multiplayer session to be able to perform this glitch, okay? You cannot be the host. You just need to join somebody else's session. And as well, to appear on this outpost, you have to have this discovered on your single player map. Right, let's go. So I'm going to add uh, the tents to my inventory, uh, equip them. Always make sure you have at least two of them. Uh, it doesn't matter if it is uh, different color or the same color. As long as you have two, it works. If you do only have one tent equipped, it won't work, so make sure you have two. Alright, so we're ready now. And we're going to head into the spot that is really close to this outpost. And there we go. First, um, we're going to have to join multiplayer. There we go. Go to system. And then we go to exit main menu. And then we are in Africa. Okay, you need to go to Burongo Savannah. So from the main menu, we go to multiplayer. And we're going to look for Burongo Savannah and join any session. Normally the one that's got most players into it is good because it's only one player he normally kicks you out. So join any session. And once you are in the session you will appear on this outpost. Be sure you are in this outpost before joining to the multiplayer session and now we go through these bushes in a diagonal and now all a straight line when you see these trees here we just drop down here and this is the area where we have to deploy our tent I'll show you that that's the outpost and that's the place so we need to find a sweet spot it takes a while when it turns white it means that you can deploy the tent or tripod so what we're doing here is uh, try to find the sweet spot is around that corner I will show you there we are, you see? Now we're ready. And now, to move at all. When you get this message that the beaver full of tree, just keep deploying and okay. Deploy, okay. Deploy, okay. Do that as many times as you want. I did it for like 15 minutes or so. And I ended with 400 tents. And so... 
don't move at all. As soon as you deploy it, keep deploying and OK and don't move at all. Once you're ready, this is the sweet spot. I made a screenshot so you can see. I stay still so you can see where's the sweet spot. So once you got all the ones you need, um, remove the tent and then you need to exit multiplayer. This is the spot I'll show you so you can, when you arrive, you can recognize the place. And I'm gonna show you much better on the map where to find it. That's the outpost. I cannot read the name from here, but that's where we are in the map in Bulonja Savannah in Africa in multiplayer. You can't be the host, you need to join somebody else's session. That's where we are. Right. Now we got all the tents we, w we want. We're going to exit the multiplayer. So we're going to remove our tent and exit to the main menu. I'm showing you again. Sorry, the spot. <laughs> exit to main menu. And now we are back in single player. And it says that all your structures return to a storage. That's what we want it. Because now when we go back to the storage, we're going to see that instead of two white tents, we're going to have 400 white tents. This has not been patched yet. So now we're going to check. There we are in storage view all the way down. Sorry, it's the last part of the list. So we go all the way down. Remember, I only had two at the beginning of the video, two white tents. And now I have 400 something. I don't know. Can't read from here. So, yep, that's it. I hope this helped you and um, make sure you exit to single player before closing the game, okay? Exit to single player. And now let's go with the tripods. So it, it can be done with tripods as well on the same spot. Uh, and we, there we are. As you can see, it can be done with uh, anything. That's uh, a stand structure. The only one you cannot do is the uh, tree stands, obviously, for obvious reasons. But anything else you can do. But uh, I only use this. I don't use anything else. So. I did it. I already had 319, as you can see. Uh, for the sake of the video, because I forgot to record the part where I did the tripod, I did it again. I'm stopping here so you can see where to deploy it. Okay, it's a bit tricky to find the spot, but once you find it, remember to move at all. And once you're done. And exit the single player. So I pick up my tripod. I go to exit to my menu. We get the message again saying that our structures were returned to our storage. And once I am on single player, there we are. I had to the shop. I won't even bother to go to my own storage. I go to the shop and now you will see it like I have uh, 700. <laughs> 700 white arctic uh, tripods. I don't need that many. I only need 400 and something for every single map, 32 each map, but 
well, I went crazy with the thing. It's free after all. Okay, I hope this guide helped you guys. Uh, there is another place to do this on New England. But I will do that in another moment. Thank you for watching and good hunting to everybody. Thank you. Bye.